Hi everyone. Um, I hope you are all well. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to try recording on my. I'm trying to make stop it wobbling. Sorry. Um, I'm going to try and stop. Um, I am going. They give my words out. I'm going to try and record this on my phone. Um, I recorded on my tablet the last time and. It seemed a bit grainy and the colours were like unfocusing and that. So I didn't really, really like how it came out. So I'm going to try it on my phone today. Now, obviously, you're probably not going to see this video until later on in August because um, I've come on to show you some project shares that I've been making for um, some um, people's birthdays that are at the end of July and beginning of August. So um, I've come on to show you that, but obviously I can't put this out to... to um, see until august until they've received it so what i'm saying to you now i probably would have done another video before this so ignore what i've just said okay um but yeah i'm gonna try it with that so i'll just show you what i've made so i apologize if anything goes wrong i don't think it will but okay so as you can see this is all the stuff that i've been sort of making um it is Steffi's birthday, the end of July, um, who is Effie Ann Cards here on YouTube, and I will link her channel down below. And it is my friend Jude's birthday in August, beginning of August. So um, I've made a few things for each of them, and I just wanted to show you those. I've also added, the, you know, they've got a load more other stuff, but this is the stuff that I've been making. So I just wanted to show you this, all right? Um, so I just put them all in the middle here. So we'll just take a couple now. One over there, and that one over there. I'll show you these. Okay, so this one here is um, a this is for Jude, and it's using the Simple Stories Magical Birthday. I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's just I've just used some of the ephemera because Jude sent me these. I've used my stickles to go over the rainbow and things. I don't know whether that picks that up. It does slightly. Um, and I've just put a happy birthday to you. And then inside then, it is a waterfall mini album. Okay, so just use some of the cutouts from the collection here. There's a pocket on this side. Just decorated up this side a little bit. And then on this side then is a waterfall for um, some photos. Like I say, it's a birthday one. It doesn't hold a lot of photos. <coughs> Excuse me. But... um. Yeah, if she wanted to do it of the day, then, you know, there'd be plenty of room for photos. So I've just, what I've done is I've put like a little strip on the back side of these. Not I've not covered them all, so you can put your photo on the back. Um, and they just go up like this. Okay. So that's that. And this, I followed a tutorial by my sister Scrapper. And um, it's chipboard, and that's the back. Um, really, really easy to make. I will link her tutorial down below. Okay, so that one is for Jude. This one is also for Jude. This is an embellishment book. So it's closed together with this ribbon, and I've made a rosette here with, um, and I've used the Hello Doodle Bug. So I've used some of the ephemera pieces that I've got. Uh, so there's a butterfly here and a bow and one of the cut parts and I've just popped these up and then you open it up and on the left here is a little space where you can add a photo if you wanted to and another um, rosette. On this side then everything is held in with paper clips and they're on these tags so you've got I've got two coffee cups here see like I say that lifts off so after she's taken everything out she can use this then as a mini album if she wanted to somewhere for her to put photos this one then is um what i've done is i've put a sort of uh cut part into a plastic bag and then i've cut some of the coffee cups out for her in the different papers so that she can decorate up herself okay so that's just in there with a the paper clip on this side is a tag with some rosettes that I've done up for her. Just added some of the stickers from the collection. This one then is using my new cupcake die that I've got. Um, so yeah, that's the, I've used some of the glitter paper and that. I've just popped them on some 
um, foam dots so she can take them off. This one again is in a plastic bag and it's a lot of different wood cutouts like Love, Hope, um, I think it's Love, Hope, I can't remember what the other one was, I can't remember, sorry, um, yeah so that's that one. Got some more coffee cups here with the glitter paper. Then in this one here we have a memory dex, so I'll just pull that out and this one is um, using all the collection stuff and I have made her, which I'll show you now, a memory dex box so she can put this one in there. I haven't done anything on the back because I say I, me and Jude know each other so there's no point me putting my likes on the back because she knows what I like. Um, and then I've got the uh, two mini envelopes then using my mini envelope punch board and again another photo map, uh, map mat and a sticker there um, from the collection so those that is those put that there this is the box that I made her so it's very similar to the one I made myself my Wizard of Oz with my Wizard of Oz papers but I've just used the hello papers doodlebug hello papers for this she really likes like birds and insects and things so um and animals so I did the bird and then I put being happy never goes out of style and this is on like lots of different layers of cardstock this is all chipboard you've got the straws in there and then this is the decoration at the front. So I've just layered up a load of stuff from the collection. And then that's the side. That's the back. And the side. So, yeah. So that's her memory dex holder. And then I've just done a... Um, what do you call these things? Can't find the front now. Uh, what do you call these things? I've got them. Tag flip. Tag flip. Okay, so I've used the Doodlebug So Much Pun collection because she really, really likes that collection. Um, so we've got a tag on the front here and I've, I had the odds and ends and the sticker sheets and the chit chat pieces as well. So I had quite a lot with this collection. So I just did a tag here with the frog and it says happy birthday and just added some diamantes. Did a little one here, use my tag punch from Stampin' Up, put a little snail because she really likes snails and ladybugs and, uh, ladybirds and things. Um, but snailed it. Added one of these doodle pops um, that I got from Craftalia. This one then says your dynamite with a little triceratops on it and some bling. Then I added a um, die that I got um, and this is a cupcake die and it's one of those, I uh, can't remember what her name is, Sarah, yeah, Sarah Davis, so it's a signature collection and that's the back. So if she wants to make up some cupcakes, she can. This one says I utterly adore you and I've used my stickles on his whiskers. This one says time fries. I love this collection so much. I think it's so cute. Then we got another doodle bug, doodle pops, and these are sweets. And then I did this one here, and this has got a cupcake on there, and I think these were gifted to me by Margaret. Um, and then this one on the back says, Hello, friends, have a very Vera nice day. So, hello, Vera. Um, and then we've got a little tassel here, got some bees. I put hedgehogs hedge hugs on top. Uh, Jude really loves bees. And then you've got You Mean the World to Me with the world. And some I used some of my Nuvo drops on this one. I Choose You with a bubble gum machine. You're so sweet. And again, I've used my Nuvo drops on here and some stickles. You're so sweet. And this one here, which is Send in Hedge Hugs. And again, some bling and some stickles. And then I just tied up a load of different coloured ribbons that I thought went with the collection. So, yeah, so that's tag flip. So that is for Jude. So I'm hoping she's going to like them. 
Um, and then I made some things for Steffi. Now, Steffi is very, very difficult to buy, uh, not buy for, but to, to do things for because she tends to buy a lot of what she likes anyway in general. So if you buy something for Steffi, you tend to generally like find you'll duplicate it because you probably already have it. So, um, yeah. And then when you ask her what she wants, she won't tell you either. She's really, really stubborn like that. So I... With Steffi, I tend to generally hand make stuff because I think she really, really likes that. And um, I have got her some bits and bobs that I don't think that she have. But um, yeah, so I I went to, I did two albums that I'm hoping she's going to like. One is like a recipe book and the other one is like a photo album. So I shall show you the recipe book first. Now, um, Steffi, during the lockdown, she... Um, has been baking a lot and making things so um i wanted her to have somewhere where she could write her recipes down um now she might already have something like this i don't know and it's entirely up to her she doesn't have to use it as recipes she can use it as photos or whatever it's entirely up to her but um this is like a sort of recipe holder then so it stands it's got like a chipboard uh back okay that's the back and it's got the easel then so it stands up so that if she's got a recipe in front of her she can actually see it okay and it's got rings to hold it all together and i've used the so much pun for this um because i cannot for the life of me find anything that has got anything food related on it other than the so much pun so i've just used all the foodie bits from the so much pun collection um so yeah, so this is my front cover. So this is just a, a normal piece of card, okay? And this, um, I think it's five by seven. I followed a tutorial by a lady called Michelle. Um, and she's awesome, I love her. So I will link that tutorial down below. So um, I just used some of the sticky letters that I've got in my stash and put Steffi's recipes and used some of the collection from the... Um, uh, so much pen and I put this sticker up on black cardstock and, and cut it out and it says you bake the world a better place okay and then these just flip over like this so this one goes over like this now my only thing on this is I added eyelets and I don't think I should have because it makes it difficult to turn the pages but I'm hoping Steph you can, can sort that out so um so on the back of this one it says you're kind of a big deal um with the uh uh yeah so uh that's that one so that's just the the front page then so i didn't do anything on that one and then all the rest then are um sort of pocket pages with recipe cards in so um as you can see, I, this is going to be really difficult to show you all, but I just decorated the bottom of the pocket and then filled it with um, different things. So I've got some with like stickers on them and then I got a packet of record cards um, from work, I think it was, and I cut them either into three by four or left them four by six. Um, so she's got more places to write things. Um, so again, there's another one on top of there and it says having a wonderful time. And then in this kit was these like cards on the back of the paper. So I thought they would be really good as recipe cards as well. So that's another one that I decorated up. Now, all of these pages are like say five by seven and they all have a pocket on the side as well, depending on which side you're looking at. I think, yeah, well, this side opens up here. So you can, so she can add, if she wanted to like have a recipe of something and add like a picture or something, she could do that in this pocket here or she could add more recipes in there because I'm not sure how many recipes she's actually got for anything. But um, I just wanted to be able to give her room enough for, to do what she wanted to do. And so she doesn't have to use any of this. She can use it however she wants. But um, this was my idea on it anyway. So... Um, that turns over then like that and then on the other side again is the same thing uh, with a pocket and a recipe card in the front and like I say on each of the pages then I put it's natural birthday is it and there's a picture of naturals there and like I say I tried to just make it as food orientated as I can um, 
but like I say, this will stand up as you're looking at it as well. So you've got um, sweetness here with some sweets. And again, I put lots of different um, just cutouts, uh, just recipe cards in here for it to, make, to do as many as you want. And I'll probably add, because I have got some coloured ones as well, I'll probably add some more in um, to her box as well. So she can, if she has like lots of different recipes. Um, I don't cook, so I mean, I probably wouldn't have a recipe for anything. But um, I know she has been making like toffees and things like that. So she's really, really good. And, but that's the only thing is then they fall, sometimes they fall out. So that would be then when maybe it would be better to put it in the pocket. But uh, let's turn this round. So then we've got another one with the, the worded paper on this one here. And we've got, we make a great combo with the taco and the burrito. And then I'll keep that on that side. And then we've got this one here, which has got, see, I've covered some with some. Then I've added ephemera on some of it. Um, you know, again, she can do whatever she wants. I put hello sugar with the sugar there and then the recipe on the back. That one. Then we've got, um, you guac my world. <laughs> With the guacamole. I love all the sayings in this uh, collection. It's really funny. And again, like some more recipe cards. And I've just put a sticker there that says Great Combo. And again, all of these got pockets on them. So I don't know whether it's that side or that side. One, it's either one side, that side this time around. Depending on which section I put my pages on. So, yeah. And like I say, she can take these off, add more. Um, You know, it's all held together with the rings. So it's easily takeable apart then um if that makes sense so yes yeah, so that's that one and then we've got the reason they stick is because they get caught on the the actual binding of the ring there we are see it's just a matter of fiddling around with it so then we've got that one the sweet life and some recipe cards in there i don't think there's anything on the back of them ones and you take the cake so, and then that one, you deserve the best with the desserts. Um, it's very American. Like I say, Doodlebug is American. So, good times for the time. And another recipe card there. You're a smart cookie. I just, I just really, really liked all the sayings. So, I hope Steffi does as well. And then, got this one then, your sweet and that one with the oven, sweet. And that one, and then talk about amazing. So I hope I can see all of this anyway. Hot stuff with the tomato sauce and the mustard. And another recipe card in the back. And like I say, these are all on cardstock, so it's all quite sturdy. Born to be mild. And like I say, if you hold them as you turn them, they don't tend to fall out as much. But um, when she sorts it out as into what she wants to do, then hello, sugar. Uh, the world needs more people like you. Recipes on the there. And I say on the back there. Yeah. And then that then, this now is the back of the actual book so again this is all chipboard so i've just put a piece of paper down with all the rolling pins and stuff on there and i've just put a rolling pin here with roll with it and a little bit of cake there and then the other side of that then is the back page and that has got a couple of the little because of the six by six pack pack as well so um so yeah that's that as well so I'm hoping she's going to like that, so it stands like that. And like I say then, you just go through. So yeah, so I'm really hoping she's going to like that. And I really, really enjoyed making that. And I'd probably make another one. And I just wouldn't, the only thing I wouldn't do is do the eyelets. Um, but yeah, you can do these as anything. I think my next one, I'll probably do a calendar, because I think they're really good for calendars. Um, oh, the one that I watched, she did it for like... A sort of a 10 year birthday so like each page would be like the year of the birth which i thought was really good so you could see like 10 years a 
a 10 years worth of like year photos does that make sense so like when your baby's one two three four five six all the way up to ten but like just one photo there showing you things and obviously she had different photo mats and stuff but i'll link up i'll link that tutorial down the bottom and you can go and have a look at it yourself if you want to yes yeah, so that just opens up like that so that's one of them and then we've got this one which i just finished making um this again is another tutorial by the same woman miss michelle um and it is a sort of folio in a box is what i'm going to call it um really really easy to make and it doesn't use any chipboard or anything which is what i really really like um and i've used the doodlebug hello cupcake on this one and it is like this so it, it looks like that then can't really show you any more well. then you got like a really thick sort of box so let's have a look so yes yeah, like two and a half inches depth or you know that's what i mean oh God, i can't get my words out today i do apologize six inches across and like i say a two inch sort of depth on it um so it can it holds a few photos. I mean, there's not lots and lots of different spaces you can hold photos, but yeah, it does hold a few. But it's nice just for, um, you know, I probably wouldn't make something like this for maybe a baby or, um, I don't know. Well, actually, you probably could. It depends on how many photos you've got. Obviously, I mean, you don't have to decorate it like I decorated. You can decorate it completely different. So, yeah, just ignore what I just said then because, I mean, you could probably make it for whatever you wanted to. The lady that I watched make this, she did it for, because um, obviously she's American, she did it for July the 4th. So, um, yeah, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Right, so it cl closes with magnets and there's a little bit of an extra close closure over the ribbons. Now, ignore my bow. I haven't, I only tied it like that because I was, I need to tidy it all up. So it will be tidy by the time I send it to it. So, this opens up okay so it still stays closed without the ribbon um so it's just an extra bit of pull on it that's all um so i use some of the border paper here on the top with a birthday girl birthday girl because obviously it is a birthday so i wanted her to have something for her birthday um and then these open out like this so i'm probably not going to be able to get all of this in shot now but i'll try my very best so this one opens out like that and then i've got hey cupcake and again, some I've used a mixture of six by six papers, twelve by twelve papers. I've had the sticker collection, and I've got the chit chat um, odds and ends, and I also have the mini icons as well. I think of this one. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's got the lollipop shoe and hay cupcake, and then this one lifts up as well. And this is where the magnets are on this page here. So you've got let's celebrate there and the hearts on the top. Okay, so that opens up there like that. And then this one opens up like a folio, like I said to you. Let me put that over there so you can see. So I've got um, stickers here with some cupcakes on it. It says happy birthday. This has got magnets on it as well to hold it shut with this. So that is closed with magnets, okay? So these open out to the side. So I'll show you side by side first. Um, okay, so you've got like a little pocket section here. So you open up. It's all held together with this ribbon. So you open that up here. And inside here, I just used some of the cutouts from the collection. And that's, so that's a pocket. Okay. And then this sort of flips out. And I've done a space for a photo here. All of these, like you can fit the photo behind. Um, and there's like a little decorative space there. So again, you can put your photo on this one if you wanted to, or leave that and use the back piece. So I've done it on that one, the top one up there and the bottom one up there. And I just put may you wish come true. And again, I've only done it, glued it in the middle. Um, so you can put a picture there as well if you wanted to. So that's that section. So that's one side. So the other side does the same. Okay, so they, they don't mirror each other with the papers that I've used, but they mirror each other with the same design then. So this one opens up. Again, some of the pockets with these um, cutouts in there. And then this one opens up. You've got Let's Celebrate You with a photomat. 
the border paper and again then another one with a photo mat and let's have cake i just put a here birthday girl and again i've only stuck this on one end i think um so there's that and then so the whole thing opens up like a massive sort of envelope really so that's that and I'm gonna have to put the bows and stuff back in because I won't take pictures yet but this is the middle piece okay so these middle piece flaps here they open up as well but on this side here I've got um I used a piece of like white cardstock and just split it through but you can get your photo that's not glued down so you can get your photo up this side and this side and also that's not glued down all the way either only on the side here um so that opens out like this and then again the same thing here with hip hip array and these are all open so you can fit your photos behind and that opens out like that and then you've got another little sections on the sides here so these are really cool as well i really really like this how this closes so you've got um looks like you just got a pocket there but there's a little bit of a um a twist then say so i got to close this i um, use magnets or anything you just use um the cutouts so they backed onto cardstock okay so you're amazing and then another photo match you with some of the collections and then what happens then is these open out like this which i thought was really really clever so there's a cake there and it's got yum yum there and then on this page here you have got a waterfall so i just decorated the top one put a sticker out of the collection left everything else blank so you know you can stick like what so what is it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i mean you know just there you put ten photos so yeah there's plenty of room for photos um so that's one side so and again all that's needed to close those pockets then is these are open so that goes like that and that goes like that and then that just keeps that closed shut and then this side then same thing got a cut out you with some ice creams and some cupcakes another photo mat and then this one has got friends on there and happy birthday and good times and then again same sort of just decorated the top with a sticker and then you've got the waterfall pages and I just put a decorative strip on the half inch there. So I thought that was really, really clever. And I really, really like that. Because it just gives you more room for photos and things. So um, that's that. And then in the middle here is... Get stuck here. A, po an expanding, a little pocket here. And then an expanding pocket at the back. So in the top this pocket here i just put some of the cutouts make a wish happy birthday living the dream here um just use some of the six by six paper to cover this up and then inside here so this is an extend extending pocket then so it's got like the costina fold so you can put like loads in there if you wanted to um and then so i've got a for just a normal photo mat in there and another one there with the cupcakes on it just put them in there and then this then I made using my um, stapler and some uh, printing paper and it's just like a little book so I decorated the front with some of the paper and the stickers and some of the heart stickers it says what a perfect day and then in here then is just some plain pages so stuff you can write in here or put some pictures in here so tidy it too and throughout I just added stickers from the collection so um just go through hello friend little present there surprise and there's about 10 pages in here i think it is a little cat there and i just used one of the stickers from the sheets to do that sort of tag style happy and it says sweet on the other side and like i say just stickers throughout so that's the back and i stapled that in there with my heavy duty stapler so that's just a little book in the back there. So yeah, so that is what I have made for um, Steffi. So I'm hoping she's going to like that. 
it sort of folds in you've got to do it like a book style so the left fold always goes over the top so um it goes like that with the magnets and then like that and like that and i'll leave it open because i want to take photos anyway so yes yeah, so it all closes up nicely um and that is what i've made so um yeah i really hope you like what i've made i have made some other things as well um which again i'll show you further on down the line and um I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I might do, I've had some a delivery from Paper Maze. So I might show you what I've had from there. So yeah. Um, so I hope this is all okay, video main wise. I'm going to check it back now, see how it is. Um, and we can go from there because I can see in, I just lift my head up and I can see in there so I can make sure that I'm in shot and everything. So yeah, so I did it with the iPad. And like I said, I wasn't that happy with it. But I'm hoping the phone's going to be better. So I'm going to be quiet now. Hope you like what I've made. Um, I hope Stephanie and Jude love what I've made. And um, we shall soon see. So I shall speak to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.